Oh, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm James, a market strategist at Tiger Broker Singapore. So alongside me today is Marcus Ng, Vice President from SortGen. And today we'll be talking about DLCs and the cash boost account. So the topic today uh, for today's webinar is uh, leverage short-term market opportunities with DLC via the cash boost account. So I will start uh, the webinar and speak for roughly 15 minutes, uh, followed by Marcus. Uh, Marcus will provide an in-depth presentation on DLC for approximately 30 minutes. And after the presentation itself, we will have a joint Q&A session. So tonight we will be also giving out some lucky draw prices. So please stay uh, for a chance to win. We will be giving out 33 DLC cash vouchers, each worth $16. You could redeem this cash voucher for your DLC orders. Just remember that this uh, DLC voucher are only valid for the sort gen DLCs. And we'll be giving out uh, this lucky draw prices at the following times, 7.02 p.m., 7.10 p.m., 7.20 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. For example, uh, later at 7.02 p.m., a pop-up message will appear on your Tiger app inviting you to participate. You just need to hit the participate button to enter the lucky draw. And eight uh, random winners will be selected. The winners will be announced about five minutes after the lucky draw is conducted. So let me go through uh, some disclaimer first. This presentation is provided to you for education and sharing purpose only. It does not constitute to any form of advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Uh, basically, I will briefly talk about cash boost account and share with you some contra trading strategies using DLCs. Okay, let me talk about cash boost account first. Okay, cash boost account is a new account type that includes the contra trading features. So essentially the cash boost account is a contra trading account. You do not need to pre-fund your account and you will be given a trading limit to capture the short-term trading opportunities. Meaning to say you can buy and sell stocks within a short period of time without the intention of depositing money to pick up the shares. If you are looking for an account that supports such trading activities, the cash boost account might be the right choice for you. To open the account, simply go to the profile tab and tap on the cash boost uh, button and then you can uh, find the open cash boost now on the next page itself to open the account. Okay, let me talk about some of the key features and benefits that cash boost account offers. Once the account is open via SingPass, investor who pass the review will receive a default trading limit. For instance, if you are given a trading limit of 20,000, you can buy up to 20,000 worth of shares without needing to deposit any funds, any money into your cash boost account. If you sell the shares within the contra period and incur a loss, you only need to pay the contra loss amount. In contrast, if you sell the shares and make a profit, the profit will be deposited into your cash boost account. In addition, you can enjoy an interest-free period of up to seven trading days. To put it simply, Tiger Brokers will start charging the interest on your contra loss amount on the seven uh, trading days if the contra loss is not settled by then. Uh, please note that uh, US has shortened its settlement period. So for US stock contra trading, the contra trading period will be one trading day shorter and the interest free period will also be one trading day shorter as well. So this cash boost account currently supports trading of stocks and ETFs in the Singapore, US and Hong Kong markets. Most importantly, cash boost account also supports DLC's trading. Uh, next, I want to discuss some of the 
contrast trading strategies using DLCs. So in addition to the normal stock and ETF contrast trading, you can also use the cash boost account to contrast trade in leveraged products such as DLCs. So one of the contrast trading strategies is hedging. You can buy a, a daily short DLC to hedge your position if you think that the market will decline. Okay, you may ask uh, why hedging is important because sometimes the market is just too volatile. If you are unsure about a particular event like an earnings announcement or an economic event, you might as well hedge. You can hedge either your individual stock positions or your entire portfolio. For example, Hong Kong listed stock Mei Tuan is scheduled to list the earnings on June 6 at 7 p.m. So if you believe that the earnings result will be poor and that Mei Tuan stocks in your portfolio will drop after the earnings release, you probably could buy Mei Tuan Daily Short DLC to hedge your Mei Tuan stock position. My preferred hedging method is that I would probably buy this in verse five times uh, DLC uh, before the market closes on June 6, just right before the earnings announcement later at 7 p.m. that day. And probably exit the DLC position on the next trading day, uh, I will mostly exit uh, this DLC position uh, probably within the first hour of trading itself, as I normally assume the market would have fully digested the negative earnings outlook within the first hour of trading and is probably ready to resume the uptrend itself. However, some investor may prefer to hold on for the next few trading days as they believe that the bad earnings news may negatively affect the stock price for a couple more days itself. But just remember that DLC are probably best suited for short-term trading, but not for long-term holding, as they are quite costly to hold overnight. Okay, and in addition to hedging uh, individual stock positions, I would also like to hedge my uh, entire portfolio as well. I prefer using S&P 500, or NASDAQ 100 short DLC for hedging. For example, if there is a non-farm payroll announcement or an FOMC rate announcement tonight, you might want to hedge your entire portfolio. If your portfolio is worth 100,000 and has a beta of one to the S&P 500, you probably just need to invest a 20,000 worth of negative five times DLC uh, to hedge your position in the S&P 500 uh, daily short DLC itself. Uh, again, one of the preferred hedging methods is to um, buy a short DLC at the end of the trading day for me, uh, perhaps around uh, 5 p.m. itself and close it in the next trading day when the market opens. Uh, because the economic news itself would have been announced uh, overnight and the full impact would have been reflected uh, once the market opened itself. And some people, again, may like to maintain their hedge position for a longer term, but typically I only like to hedge overnight or just for a few days itself because, again, it's quite costly to hold DLC for long term and your long term return will vary uh, due to the compounding effect, uh, which Marcus will talk more about compounding effect later. Uh, on a side note, uh, just now I am uh, using S&P 500 DLC as an example to hedge the position. But if you believe that your portfolio is more correlated to other indices such as uh, NASDAQ 100, STI, Hang Seng, Hang Seng Tech, or Simsky MSCI Singapore Index, you may use this short DLC, uh, short indices DLC as a portfolio hedging instrument instead. Okay, so other than hedging, I believe most traders use DLC for short-term speculation. You can buy a daily short, sorry, you can buy a daily long DLC if you anticipate the market will go up, or you can buy a daily short DLC if you anticipate the market will go down. 
if you prefer to base your trading on fundamentals, you should pay attention to major economic events such as FOMC meetings, inflation release, inflation data releases, uh, major earnings uh, announcement or the company news itself. Uh, personally, I find one of the most effective contra trading strategies is to position yourself before the earnings announcement and exit the position when the earnings result are released because I believe stock prices typically move up or down by a lot uh, during the earnings release. However, if you prefer trading uh, based on economic news like CPI, PCE, inflation data, or maybe Singapore no that's uh, non-oil domestic export data, you may also notice that the specific stock DLC you invest in may not move in price with the economic data itself. Because again, stock, the underlying stock, the underlying asset uh, may not be so sensitive to the economic data sometimes. Okay. And if you were to base your trading on technical analysis, you can probably look at uh, candlestick reversal pattern, MA, MACD crossover, or any other major chart reversal patterns like double tops, double bottoms, head and shoulders, or inverted head and shoulders itself. However, technical analysis is subjective and it's not easy to explain in this webinar itself in just a few minutes. So one simple trading method is probably to enter a daily long or daily short DLC position when the underlying stock breaks above the all-time high, interim high, or break below the all-time low or the interim low itself. And if you have been trading uh, DLCs, you may also notice that some popular DLC with underlying asset listed in Hong Kong are those like uh, Alibaba, Meituan, Hang Seng Tech, Hang Seng Index, uh, BYD itself. And some of the popular DLC with the underlying assets listed uh, in Singapore, um, uh, DBS, Kepler, Taibev, SD Engineering uh, sets, or maybe Yang Zijiang. And why you why would you want to trade Singapore DLC like maybe DBS, SD Engineering, and etc. I think uh, the idea here is sometimes the daily movement of Singapore stocks may not be so volatile and perhaps moving up or down less than 1% a day. So for day traders, it means that sometimes they just need to invest a sizable amount in the underlying stock to see a significant return, uh, assuming the stock isn't moving much in a day. Therefore, some short-term investors, short-term traders may prefer to use DLC to enhance their returns by utilizing the DLC uh, leverage factors itself. Uh, most importantly, they probably prefer using a cash boost account since there is no pre-funding required. Okay, and that's all for me. Uh, now, let me pass the mic to Marcus to share more about DLC. Uh, take it away, Marcus. Okay, thank you very much, James. This is Marcus here. Let me just share my screen first before we get started. Okay, I hope you guys can see my screen. Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Marcus. I'm from Society General. We are a French bank uh, and we are known for doing structural products across listed exchanges over the world. Um, so we do have this daily leverage certificate that are listed on the SGX. It is issued by Society General and listed on the SGX securities markets for investors to buy and sell the DLCs throughout the trading day during Singapore market hours. All right, so daily leverage certificates or DLC for short, is like a, what James mentioned, it's a short-term trading instrument 
that you can use to trade both bull and bear markets uh, with that fixed leverage factor. All right, for those of you who are very familiar with your TQQ or your SQQ, the ProShares Ultra, uh, NASDAQ, Leverage and Inverse uh, ETFs in the US, well, these DLCs have exactly the same payoff as a TQQ or SQQ, just that we can go higher in terms of the leverage because we are in a certificate structure. All right, we have up to five times or seven times leverage on the DLCs. All right, so in today's very short introduction, um, in the next 30 minutes, I'll go through about the basics of the DLCs, how it works, what is it about, as well as some trading strategies on how do you trade the DLCs, even though James has covered quite a bit already. So I'll try to add on to what he has mentioned just now and give us a bit of color and hopefully leave, off with, leave, uh, leave you guys with some uh, direction as to how to get started on the DLCs, uh, where the additional resources that you can find to learn more about the DLCs that you can trade on the Tiger Brokers platform. All right, so the DLC's daily leverage certificates is a fixed leverage instrument. All right, it has a fixed daily leverage of two times, five times, or seven times leverage on the underlying assets daily performance, daily percentage performance. All right, so all the DLC's are linked to an underlying asset, whether it's an index, Hang Seng Index, S&P 500 Index, or the STI Index, or even a single stock. You know, it can be linked to the Alibaba stock listed on Hong Kong Exchange, as well as Singapore stocks such as the DBS, your Singapore banks, um, they are linked to the underlying asset and gives you that fixed leverage factor of two times, five times, or seven times leverage on the underlying asset's daily percentage performance. And all DLCs, there are two types of DLCs, basically. One is a long DLC and a short DLC. So for each underlying asset, whether it's your index or stock, there is a long DLC and a short DLC. Right? If you're bullish on the underlying index or underlying stock, you will buy the long DLC. But if you are bearish on the underlying stock or the underlying index, you will buy the short DLC. All right. So all the DLCs are listed and traded on the SGX like a stock. So you can access it through your regular stock brokerage account, including the Tiger Brokers trading platform. All right. You can find the DLCs on the Tiger trading platform. And in the screen that you are seeing right now, you can see a ticker tape running through, uh, flashing some of the DLCs that we have listed on the SGX can be seen in that flashing. Um, banner that's across your screen. All right, you can click on those and you can access the DLCs over there as well. All right, for DLCs, I mentioned that we are the issuer as well as the uh, we are the issuer as well as the designated market maker for the DLCs. So designated market maker means that we will provide liquidity throughout the trading day during SGX market hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for you to buy and sell the DLCs. All right, so a common misconception on the DLCs is we have over 200 DLCs listed on the SGX and not every one of them are traded every day. All right, for some days, Alibaba could be in favor, but some days your Ganfeng Lithium DLCs could not be uh, in favor and no one trades them. But that doesn't mean that there's no liquidity or you know, that you can't trade it because for us, Stockgen, as the designated market maker, we are obligated by the exchange to provide liquidity throughout the trading day. So you can see the bid and ask prices that we provide and the bid and ask volume that we provide, even though there might not be any trades for that day. All right, so, so there's a common misconception that we have. They don't see any trades on it, no turnover on it, doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that you can't trade the DLCs, all right? Because we are always there providing liquidity in terms of the bid and ask prices and the bid and ask volumes, all right? So that, in a nutshell, is DLC in a glance, a fixed leverage instrument that you can trade both bull and bear markets with that fixed leverage. So we have over 200 DLCs listed on the SGX, covering a wide range of market, so we have DLCs on the Hong Kong market, the Singapore market, covering the Singapore market, and the US indices. On the Hong Kong side of things, the DLCs offer you exposure to the three Hang Seng indices, the Hang Seng Index, Hang Seng China Enterprises Index, as well as the Hang Seng Tech Index. All right, they offer and, and also offers you exposure to the Hong Kong single stocks, your big China tech giants, Alibaba, Tencent, Meituan, you name it, we have it. So we do have the uh, DLCs on the China tech giants as well as some of the old economy stocks like your HSBC bank stocks, your uh, Ping An insurance stocks, um, Hong Kong exchange listed stock as well. So you do have a wide range of Hong Kong indices and single stocks to choose from uh, using the DLCs. On the Singapore side, we do have the two key Singapore indices, the FTSE Straits Times Index as well as the MSCI Singapore Index underlines. And we do have the 21 single stocks on the Singapore stocks, uh, mainly the STI constituent stocks. We do have it, the Singapore banks, Capital Corp, Venture, SIA, uh, CDDF, SEMCorp, we do have DLCs on them. All right. 
and all the indices, we do have five times and seven times leverage on the indices. On the single stocks, we do have only five times leverage on the single stocks for both long and short direction. On the US market, it's something new that we have introduced into the market, into, into our DLC shelf in the last one to two years. It is the US indices um, on the, the DLCs on the S&P 500 index, in S&P 5, uh, the NASDAQ 100 index, as well as the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Right, so this is something new that we've introduced and it's something that we're excited about because it offers you uh, exposure to the US market during Asian hours. You can get in ahead of the US market open um, by, by using the DLCs that track these three key US indices. And you have up to five times and seven times leverage on the three key US indices um, using the DLCs for both long and short direction. All right, so five times leverage, seven times leverage for both long and short directions. In the US, you only have the TQQ or the SQQ or even the Leverage Universe ETFs that offer you only three times leverage. But this US indices DLCs offer you up to seven times leverage for both long and short directions. The catch is you can only trade during SGX market hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, so you can only trade the DLCs during Asian hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. when the SGX market is opened. And during the SGX market hours, the US indices DLCs will track the e-mini futures um, to track that five times or seven times leverage performance. And when SGX market uh, closes, the DLCs continue to track the cash index at night when the US market opens. Uh, and then it track, continue to track the cash market index performance overnight. Um, so that is the US um, indices DLCs. You will not only be able to trade during Asian market hours. Um, so for those of you who are, you know, perhaps intraday traders, uh, very active, intraday traders, then maybe this is not so much for you because during Asian hours, the US indices, uh, e-mini features don't move that much. So you are better off, you know, perhaps trading at night during the US market hours. But if you are a position trader or swing trader, you don't mind holding this overnight for a few days or a few weeks, and you want that five times or seven times leverage, and you're not going to wake up at night, you know, you're during, during uh, yeah, Asian hours at night, you're not going to wake up at night to manage your position, then this could be something for you. If you are a swing trader looking for that, uh, swing trade with a five times or seven times leverage on the US indices for both long and short directions. All right. And the convenience of it as well, you know, you trade all these US indices in the Singapore dollar terms. So you don't have to worry about the hassle of transferring your, exchanging your money into US dollars uh, to get exposure to the US market. All these US index DLTs are traded in Singapore dollar terms. So if you're looking for a short-term trade, you know, you don't have to have the hassle of changing your money. All right. And the next one, we do have um, feature a bit on our Hang Seng Tech DLCs. Our seven times DLCs on Hang Seng Tech DLCs uh, were, were the most actively traded DLCs last year in 2023. 20, um, so on the back of the volatility that we've seen in the China and Hong Kong stock market, the Hang Seng Tech Index have been very uh, vibrant. Uh, where we see DLC, we, we see DLC traders using uh, intraday trades or swing trades, trying to catch the bottom, trying to catch the top on the Hang Seng Tech Index using our five times and seven times DLCs on the Hang Seng Tech Index. So now the basics of the DLC, I mentioned that it is very much similar to a leverage and inverse ETF. All right, so the payoff is very similar to a leverage and inverse ETF. This is where it is the fixed leverage comes from. So you can see in this example over here, you know, if DBS is up by 2% on day two versus its previous day close, it went up from $30 to $30.60. Well, your five times long DBS DLC will be up by 2%, times by five is equal to 10%. Your five times long DBS DLC will be up by 10%. And conversely, your five times short DBS DLC will be down by 10% because DBS gained 2%. But vice versa, um, the other way around, if DBS was instead down by 2% today versus its previous close, my five times short DBS DLC will be up by 10%, while my five times long DLC will be down by 10%. So this happens on a close to close basis every day. Your DLC will give you that five times performance. Your five times DLC will give you that five times performance on the underlying stock or underlying index daily percentage performance. All right. So this is much more linear in terms of its performance. Um, for these DLCs, um, and its payoff is very similar to your leverage and inverse ETFs or your TQQ or SQQ. So this is a screenshot of our, our website, dlc.socgn.com. You can find all our DLCs there and a wide range of resources for you to learn more about the DLCs on our website. So this is a screenshot of the Alibaba 5 times long DLC. 
So you can see at the top left corner of the screen, you can see uh, the name of the DLC, Alibaba 5 times long SG251113. All right, so you can find out a lot about the, the details about the DLC from the name of it itself. The, at the start of the name is the underlying asset, underlying stock or underlying index that it tracks. So this DLC, DKPW, uh, tracks the Alibaba stock with that five times leverage. And it's a long DLC, which means that, you know, you only buy this DLC if you are bullish on the underlying stock. All right. And the SG follow, following in the name stands for Society General. So it's this issued by SOCGEN. SG is our acronym and followed by expiry date in year, year, month, month and the date format. All right. So all the DLCs come with a four character stock code. This one is DKPW. So if you go into your Tiger broker trading platform and you search for DKPW, you will be able to retrieve this Alibaba five times long DLC. And in this screenshot, you can see over here on this particular day on the 23rd of January earlier this year, Alibaba stock was up by 1.45% in the first 25 minutes of, of trading. All right. Hong Kong market opens at 9.30 a.m. And so for us, we will start quoting on the Hong Kong underlying uh, stock DLCs at 9.30 a.m. And within the first 25 minutes, you can see that Alibaba stock was up by 1.45%. And my five times long DBS DLC is up by 7.65%. That is where the five times performance is. Right? If the underlying stock is up by 1.45%, my DLC will give you that five times performance. And so it's up by 7.65% versus its previous close. And you can see over here, the Alibaba stock is, Alibaba DLC is around 20 cents, 22 cents, 22.5 cents, 23 cents. So you can gain exposure to the underlying stock at a fraction of the cost of actually buying the stock itself using these DLCs, which are generally priced between 20 cents to $2. Okay. So conversely, of course, you know, leverage is a double-edged sword. Your gains are magnified but also your losses are also magnified. So if you had got the direction wrong and you bought the Alibaba five times short DLC instead, DFTW, you will have been down by minus 7.36%, five times that big of the Alibaba performance because Alibaba is up by 1.45%. And so your short DLC is down by 7.36%. All right. So that's where the five times is. And this happens every day on a close to close basis. So a lot of people use the DLCs to gain access to the Hong Kong stocks, like what James mentioned just now. So there are multiple reasons for this, uh, multiple good reasons for this, why people use the DLCs to gain exposure to the Hong Kong stocks. Um, these DLCs are listed on DSGX and they are traded on, uh, you, on the uh, Singapore dollar terms. So you again, you save the hassle of changing your money to Hong Kong dollars. You can get exposure to Hong Kong stocks by trading the DLCs in Singapore dollar terms. And also, this DLC offer you both capital efficiency as well as cost efficiency um, when trading Hong Kong stocks. All right. So not many of I know many of you probably have traded Hong Kong stocks before, and you will have realized that it's not exactly that cheap to trade Hong Kong stocks. There is a high minimum investment sum for some of these stocks, like BYD. Um, due to the minimum bot lot size units over there, sometimes you could be easily one time exposure to gain exposure to BYD or Tencent. You will need at least ten to twenty thousand Sing dollars to be able to gain exposure to these Hong Kong stocks, and even if you have that amount, ten to twenty k to put into the into this uh, underlying uh, Hong Kong stocks, uh, you might not want to put it all at one go. You might want to scale into your positions, um, and so the DLCs offer you the exposure because you can trade the the DLCs um, in bot lot units of hundred units, and so if the DLCs are priced at one dollar, you can easily you can trade the DLCs with as little as a hundred dollars uh, in in clips of hundred dollars because of the bottle size unit is only 100 units, same as the stocks. All right, of course, you wouldn't buy this $100 worth of DLCs if you could take account your broker commissions, et cetera, um, before you put in, but you can easily trade it in tips of $100 or even $1 or $2,000 into the DLCs. All right, so there is that capital efficiency um, in terms of using the DLCs to trade the Hong Kong stocks. Um, and with a lower capital used, you can also reduce your transactional costs your exchange fees, et cetera, will be lower using less capital. All right. So from the comfort of the SGX and where you're familiar with, you can use the DLCs to gain exposure to overseas stocks like the Hong Kong stocks uh, using the DLCs um, and also trade it in Singapore dollar terms. All right. So we do have a lot of people who are on the DLCs. They use it to trade the Hong Kong stocks and has been predominantly uh, majority of our turnover or, or, or activity on the DLCs is all on Hong Kong stocks and Hong Kong indices. 
the most actively traded DLCs, as I mentioned just now, uh, last year and this year itself, 2024 year to date, have been on our Hang Seng Tech DLCs, our five times long and short Hang Seng Tech DLCs. Um, Hong Kong has rallied quite a bit in the last two months. Um, and so it's earlier this year, uh, late last year, early this year. So we have seen a lot of people trying to catch the bottom using the long, five times long Hang Seng Tech DLCs. Also, a lot of people trying to catch the top. I'm uh, not believing in the rebound using the short five times and seven times short Hang Seng Tech DLCs. So for these short term swings in the market, um, you can't use a short term trading instrument like the DLCs to play both sides of the market, both the upside and the downside, both the long and the short side. Okay. So the DLCs, you have multiple trading strategies. You have day trading, you have swing trading, and you have hedging purposes. So this one was in summary, uh, was summarized by, by James earlier. So the DLC is being a short-term trading instrument. We recommend that you only trade it for intraday trading, swing trading for a few days or a few weeks, or um, for you know. But but definitely you should not be holding these DLCs for months at end or even a year, uh, due to the compounding effect as well as the overnight cost, funding cost for the leverage, which James mentioned just now. So please please do not hold this for a long period of time. This is intraday, a few days or a few weeks, but definitely not for months at end. So a quick example of a short day trade over here. For this seven times long Hang Seng Tech DLC stock code ILKW, um, it rose from 50 cents to 61 cents intraday between 9.15 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. A short, you know, three to four hour trade. Uh, and you can gain 21% on your on this DLC um, on the back of the Hang Seng Tech index gaining 3% between this 9.15 and 1.45 p.m. Uh, day trade. All right, so 21% gain for intraday trade. It's no surprising that a lot of people use the DLCs to trade intraday. Uh, with this 21% gain, you can easily just get that 21% gain and close for the day, come back again the next day. Um, so this intraday trading strategy has been quite popular with the DLCs, especially on our seven times leverage index DLCs. Swing trading. So for those Singapore stocks who might move a bit more slowly um, compared to your Hong Kong stocks, we do see people using the uh, DLCs to swing trade the DLC, the, the Singapore stocks. So Samcorp, a uh, stock that is uh, listed on the SGX, um, rose 7%, um, gained 7% uh, between this 14 trading day period between 26 December 2023 to 15 January 2024, earlier this year. So on the back of Samcorp rising 77%, my five times long Samcorp DLC stock code DWIW rose from 55 cents to 75 cents during this 14 day trading period to give you a gain of 36% gain. So not too shabby for a two to three week holding period. Um, but of course, I recommend that you do not hold this DLC for more than a month. So two to three weeks is already pushing it. All right. But um, you know, with a nice trend like this, you can uh, get that gains, the outside gains or enhanced gains uh, on the back of the underlying stock moving 7%. My DLC five times moved. 36%. All right, for those of you who are sharp, you will see that 7% rise on STEM Corp Industries times by five, five times long is 35%. But my DLC over here gained 36%. Where did the extra 1% come from? So that is the compounding effect of the DLC, which I will touch on very shortly. All right, uh, the last trading strategy will be on the hedging, which means that you use the five times short or, or, or short DLCs in, 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 our, in our shelf to be able to profit from any correction in the underlying stock or underlying index. So over here, DBS fell, the DBS stock in Singapore, or Singapore Bank stock, fell by 4% uh, across this 16 trading day period. My five times short DBS DLT, DEOW, rose from 73 cents to 88 cents. That represented a 20% gain within this short period of time. So if you are holding a bag of DBS stocks that you want to hold for the yield and for your long-term investment portfolio, but you know that the DBS stock, or you have a big, your gut tells you that DBS stock is going to come, going to correct in the next two to three weeks. And you want to hedge some of this short-term correction so that to, um, you can use the five-time short DLCs to make those gains uh, when DBS stock corrects so as to offset your paper losses on your long stock, your long-term investment portfolio of the stocks. All right. So hedging. It's perhaps not for every single retail investor. Um, it is a bit more for um, those who are more sophisticated. Um, hedging is, is not that simple. You have to understand the, the exposure versus your stock portfolio. So please do 
uh, do your, your study, you do your homework before you go into hedging your investment stock portfolio. You do not want to end up losing on your investment stock portfolio and also on the DLC. So please do your, your, your homework. Um, choose the right DLC and also manage your exposure when you're coming to uh, hedging uh, your stock portfolio using the short DLCs. Okay, so compounding effect. The one most important feature of the DLC is that everyone has to understand before you trade the DLC. So this one, I cannot emphasize enough, it's important for you to understand this concept. And this concept is apparent in any leverage and inverse products out there. So your TQQ, your SQQ, your UDAO or SDAO, those leverage and inverse ETFs that you, that you might have traded in the US, they all have this compounding effect. And it's because of the fixed daily leverage nature of such leverage and inverse product. So let's look at an example over here of how the compounding effect can work for you in a nice trending market, but may work against you in a volatile or sideways market. So on the table on the left over here, you can see that the underlying at 100 base unit gained 1% on day one, day two it gained another 2%, and day three it gained another 3% to give you an overall gain of 5.08% across the three trading days. My DLC gives you that five times leverage every day on a close-to-close -close basis. So on day one, it gave you that 5% gain. On day two, it gave you a 10% gain on the back of the stock, underlying, uh, underlying gaining 2%. And on day three, another 10% gain on the DLC. Overall, my five times DLC has gained 27%. So 27%, 5% times by five is 25%, but over here, I got an extra 2% gain due to the compounding effect. So because every day your gains and losses are locked in, so my 10% my gain on day two is based off a higher base of $2.63. And on day three, my 10% gain is based on another higher base of $2.89. All right, so compounding effect or compounding interest concept is similar. So for those of you who, who um, are familiar with the compounding interest kind of concept, it's, a, it's similar, this compounding effect where every day your gains and losses are locked in. All right, so in a nice training market, you can get more than that five times leverage, uh, but in a sideways or volatile market, you will get less than that five times leverage. So the table on the right, the example over here, on day one, the underlying is up by 2%. So my DLC gave me 10% gain. On day two, my underlying is down by 4%. So my DLC times by 5 declined by minus 20%. And on day three, the underlying stock rebounded by 7.31%. My DLC gained 37%. Cumulatively, over the three trading days, my underlying is up by 5.08%. But my five times DLC has only given me 20% gain. That's because the rebound on the third day plus 37% is based off a lower base of $2.20 due to the losses locked in on the second day. All right. So in a, in a volatile or sideways market, this compounding effect will work against you and you might not get that five times leverage. You might get less than that five times leverage. Okay. So this is another key reason why the DLCs are not designed for long term. It's not a buy and hold instrument because of the compounding effect. In the long term, markets do not move in one direction up or one direction down. There's always such thing as mean reversion where it comes, whatever goes up must come down, whatever goes down must come up in the long term. All right? So this is not a, a, a long-term trading instrument, it's a short-term trading instrument where you could have, you would have to have some conviction on the trend. All right? If you're going to hold it for a few days or a few weeks, then you must have some conviction that it's going to be an uptrend or a downtrend. Okay? So compounding effect, you can find more illustrations on our website, dlc.sockgen.com, uh, where you can learn more about compounding effect. And I cannot stress enough that you should understand this concept before you trade the DLCs. So it is a good thing and a bad thing. It can work for you in a trading market where you can get more than a five times leverage, but it can work against you in a sideways or volatile market. All right, these are some examples which you can find on our website in terms of how the compounding can affect your returns. Uh, before I just uh, end off very soon, uh, let me go through a bit about how does the DLC compare with other leverage instruments out there. I want to clarify that the, the common misconception that people have is that is the DLC like a, a warrant or is it like an option? So the DLC is not a warrant and not an option. Completely not like that. Okay, it's not an option type product at all. There is no optionality in the DLCs. There is no at the money, in the money, out of the money concept. There is no strike price on the DLC. There's no impact volatility. Uh, or time decay on the DLCs. All right, so the DLCs is not an option type product. It's a fixed leverage instrument, and it's in terms of the closest comparison in terms of its payoff would be your leverage and inverse ETFs uh, listed in the market. 
All right. So where you get that five times or that fixed leverage factor on the underlying asset daily percentage performance on a close to close basis. That's where the leverage is. The leverage is. It's not an option and not a warren. Okay. And also some of you might be familiar with CFDs. So these DLTs are not like CFD. It's not a margin product. There is no margining involved in the DLCs. You don't have to open a separate account to, to trade the DLCs. You can trade it on your regular stock brokerage account uh, through your Tiger brokerage stock, stock trading account. Uh, stock trading account. And these DLCs are exchange traded, uh, whereas CFDs are OTC or over the counter. All right. So DLCs are not a margin product. And that's one of the benefits of the DLC in the sense that there is no risk of a margin call. All right. So for margin products, if you underline moves adversely against you, there could be the risk of a margin call. But for the DLCs, there is no such thing as a margin call. Um, your losses are kept at whatever your original investment sum. All right. So if I put in $1,000, the maximum I can lose is $1,000, 100%. Uh, not easy to swallow, but at least you will not lose more than your initial investment amount. You will not be asked to top up, etc., like leverage or like uh, margin products out there. Okay. So um, there are overnight costs and fees involved on the DLCs to fund the leverage and every single DLC, every single leverage instrument out there, there'll be a funding cost, overnight funding cost. If you buy and sell the DLCs intraday, there is no overnight funding cost. You just pay the, the, the spread as well as your, your broker commissions. Uh, but if you hold it overnight, there is this overnight funding cost, which you can find, which you publish on our website daily and you can find more information on our website as well. All right. So there is also an, an intraday reset mechanism on the DLCs. Uh, this is something that you that reduces your exposure on the DLCs if the underlying moves uh, very sharply uh, intraday uh, against your, your, your DLC direction. There is this intraday reset to reduce the exposure on the DLC to the underlying stock. And this is something that happens um, in only when there's very adverse movement on the underlying stock. You're talking about the index moving plus minus 10% uh, intraday uh, before this airbag mechanism kicks in. So you can find more information about this airbag mechanism as well on our website. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to go through all the details on the DLCs here, but just to highlight to you and point you to the right direction, you can find more information on our website, dlc.sockgen.com. Um, as well as, you know, what happens when the dividend pays out on the underlying stock? You know, how will my DLC be impacted? What happens if a corporate action? How will my DLC be impacted? You can find all that information on our website, dlc.socgn.com. And you can and you can see on the website there's a on the top right hand corner there is a hotline number as well six two two six two eight two eight. So do feel free to give us a call anytime during SGX market hours. My team and I we are on standby to answer at your call and answer any questions that you have on the DLC. So do visit our website dlcsocgn.com for more educational resources. Um, and also you can find the full list of DLCs that we have on our website dlc.socgn.com where you can find um, the underlying. Uh, uh, you can select the DLC that you're you're looking for. You can select the right DLC for your target exposure. You can also find videos, educational resources on our website. Um, you can find, uh, especially the video on how to select the right DLC for target exposure. It's very important that you you watch that before you trade the DLCs as well. All right, um, and also you know more market insights that you can gain on our website. So I think that's all I have. Um, I think we're running out of time. We want to go into the Q and A. Hopefully, you have more questions for us. But if not, please do feel free to give us a call on our website uh, if you have any questions after this webinar. Thank you, James. I think we can carry on with the Q&A. Uh, yes, thank you, Marcus. Uh, um, if you have any question, uh, please type it out uh, in the Q&A box or uh, in the chat box itself. And um, let me take a look if there's any question here. Okay, um, probably just let me uh, say a few words as well. Okay, and in the coming months, we will be partnering more with uh, Marcus uh, Resort Gen to actually bring you more additional DLC related topics. So we will probably have three or four most, three or four more webinars to talk about DLC. So just be sure to look out for that. Okay. Yeah, I think that is uh, no question from the crowd. Uh, probably we can end the sessions. So uh, thank you, Marcus. Uh, thank you for the insightful presentations. You have been great as usual. And thank you, everyone. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay.
Tchau.